Hello and welcome to this Autodesk Maya tutorial. I think this is going to be a very exciting tutorial because I will show you how to create these trails, as you can see them here, in Maya by using Python as well. And you will be able to use this method for any vehicle you like. So let's start here with a brand new scene. You can see I loaded my model of the Piaggio Chao. Let's get started by creating a little animation. We could either animate it by hand or we can use a motion path. In this case, we're going to create a motion path. First, I will turn off these display options to speed things up. Then go to create curve tools, CV curve. Go to the top view and just draw your curve. Maybe it makes a little turn here to make things more interesting. Like this, hit enter. Go back to your perspective view. You can call it motion path if you like. Now you can go to your animation menu and from there you can go to constraint, motion path and then attach to motion path. In order for this to work, we have to first select our vehicle, in this case the Piaggio Chao, select the group and then shift select the curve, like this. You need to figure out your correct axis here. If it messes up your orientation afterwards, you probably have to change your front axis and your up axis. And here you can define the start and the end time. Set the end time to 260 frames, like I have it here. And hit apply. Hit play. You can see it starts slowly and then accelerates. In the end it decelerates again. In this case I don't like that. I want it to have a constant speed. But you can do it however you like. So I will go to Windows Animation Graph Editor. You can see the keyframes. I will select them and make them linear. Now it uh, follows the path with a constant speed. Good. And make sure you set your playback speed to play every frame maximum real time. I think we could even add a little twist here to make the shape look a little more interesting, the trail. So in your motion path, you have a setting called front frist. Looks a little slow. To make it look faster, what you can do is either decrease the number of keyframes or you could also go in and scale the curve because then it has a longer path to travel in the same time. So you see, once we scaled it, Let's go back to the first frame. Create a curve around the shape you want to emit the trail from. In this case it would be the back wheel. Create curve tools CV curve again. Wow. 
once your curve is in position, and you can rename it to curve emit trail, something like that, you would want to parent constrain it to your vehicle. In the animation menu, select your vehicle, select your curve, go to constrain and then parent. And now the curve will follow your object. I open my script editor and in here you can already see the script. And what you need to do in order for it to work, you just need to select your uh, curve and after that you select your script, hit enter and there you go, you can already see the trail has been created. Let me go into a little more detail here what the script actually does. The first thing I do is just import the Maya commands because I will use a lot of Maya commands and it's also useful to import Maya commands as just CMDS. I define a function afterwards, I call it uh, duplicate along timeline. At the end I run this function. So what is happening inside the function? In this uh, first part I have defined some basic variables like the increment, I set it to 10, the end frame, I set it to 260, you can adjust that of course. I will get the current time, I created another variable for the selected object, in this case it's your curve. I create an empty list and then I set some playback options here and I set the current time to zero. In this while loop what it basically does is um, take the selected curves and at each 10 frames select the curve and then duplicate it. Let me show you this again. Let me run the script again. You can see what I mean by that. We move forward 10 frames the curve is duplicated, we move forward 10 more frames, the curve is duplicated again, and so on. And we are adding all the curves that are created to our list we created here, which is called created curves. We add the curves by this command, createdCurves.append. And then we just set like, um, set time, add the increment, and so on and so forth. Pretty basic stuff. After that, we have to select the curves, all the curves we created, and then loft them together. We are just using the loft command. It's a Maya command as well. It's the same command you would use when you go to modeling, surfaces, and then loft. So we are duplicating all the curves, we are adding all the curves to created curves to this list. Then we select these curves again, select, and then we loft them. Very simple, right? The last step would be to take all these curves and delete them again, because you don't need them anymore. Now that we understand how this script works, I can also show you how to color this trail. It is still a NURB surface. You have U and V coordinates, so it shouldn't be too hard to color it. Right click and then assign another blend material. And we can use a ramp for the color. Look for a ramp, this one. Go into your textured view, this button up here. 
or you can hit six on your keyboard. Make sure you set your type to VRAM. And now you can color it however you like. Let's maybe have a dark blue on the outside and a lighter blue on the inside. What you could do now, on top of this, is add some transparency to this trail. Basically do the same thing, go to transparency, select the checker box, assign a ramp. White represents full transparency, value of 1. Black represents no transparency, a value of 0. At every time you can go in and just create your trail again. If you decide, for example, that you want to change your path or your animation, you can do that. And this should be it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could animate this trail as well. Alright, until next time, bye.